Speaking of losses, the the Rangers, I guess it turns, listen, it turns out that you can't win them all, right? You can't win them all as far as the Rangers go. They, they finally lost last night. They finally gave up a power play goal last night. And what bad, are you bad do? time to give up that power at a, play at a goal bad last time. night. You're right. At a no, bad... no, no. That was, listen, if there's a time where you're going to give it up. Um, Carolina survived. They lived. They, listen, I was we rough. Didn't, they, Carolina was a bad favorite. Penal, bad penalty to take, first of all. Bad penalty. You're right. Bad penalty to take. Um, and to give it up like that, and that, and I, it's bound to happen. They shouldn't. Uh, they should have scored on some of the other power plays. But th- honestly, bad time to fall apart. That being said, Rangers are up. We're up three. three not three. We're up three zero. Are now up three one. Heading back to the. Garden. You got three. Listen, how many times have they lost three in a row this year? I I did. They, I don't know if they did lose. Yeah, they yeah, might so, have. They certainly I, I, didn't lose four in a row. So I like, think. we feel pretty good about the Rangers. Just how much energy they're gonna have to expend if you lose another game. You got to start worrying a little bit. Then you were th- got the stuff that creeps in of the you were up three zero and you're you know um, Carolina. Then you're going like back to lose. Carolina. That means wait a minute, people. Are actually, you're not going to be favored in that game six, right? I, I listen. You're not, I don't think. I don't no, see how you make the Rangers not favored. They've, no, they've, no. I'm, I know, but I'm saying if it if they don't win that next, if they don't win. The next game, yeah, maybe you have you can't you you don't win the next game. It starts creeping in. Right now they're golden, right? You're one loss away from it being a, a series. Yeah, yeah, I maybe. Listen, I have no. I'm not worried at all. Carolina coming into the series, the Rangers were underdogs. Remember Just that? Just three goals in the first period. Just uh, then, uh, well, but what if that happens in the next game, then what? But look at this. Okay, Carolina blew a three goal lead. They did. They've blown multiple they three goal leads in this playoff. They blew a three goal lead. They blew two three goal leads to the Islanders. They blew a three goal lead last night. They got a late power play goal. The first power play goal they've had from the best power play all year in the NHL. Sound it's like they're really catching this stride. No, they're not. They're not. Is that they're, what you're trying to say? You're like, trying to say that they're really coming the Ra- around. Rangers hit four posts last night. Okay, they they were the all right. They might have. You can I, even say I, they were I believe team. in them. I'm watching them going. Oh my god, the Rangers are dominating. The Rangers, even when they came back, they probably should have won that game last night, except for one bad penalty late in the game that didn't really need to be made. Not that it wouldn't have left an it's opportunity. The first time in, in his career, he let Igor allowed more than three goals. He was it was thirty games in the playoffs. Yeah. He didn't never allowed more than three goals. I, I'm the, the Rangers are, and we are we are on a crash course. I think for Rangers, yeah. Bruins, Knicks, Celtics. Right? How good is that? It's good for the team who wins those series. It, no, it's good for us that we get to watch it. Great for us. Rangers. Great uh, for ratings. Great for ratings. Now, Boston. Now, I, I'm not so confident in Boston. I was talking to my cousin, Jay, at, at the other day, and he's not confident in either the Celtics or the Bruins. We have to uh, – I'm not confident in the Celtics either. And I'm telling you right now, the Knicks get out of this series. I am. And the Rangers get out of their series, and they get in out early. I'm talking. This is what I mean. We're not talking about them getting out right no, now. Yeah, Rangers get out. We're early. talking them both getting out early, and that's both of them winning the next game. The Knicks today, and the Rangers uh, tomorrow. Yep. Now listen, if that happens, the Knicks are going. Both of them are going to the finals. No, there's no first Knicks, of all. Rangers. The Celtics are so much better than that. And that the Knicks no, they are. More. I don't care. There's only so far that grit can take you, right? And I would love to see the Celtics lose to the Knicks, and I would love to see the Celtics lose the series. Now they're in. They're not going. We got to get hooked up with a um, with a, some type of Boston podcast and, yeah. and make some type of make bet and get on the well, air. Let's do it with, with the them. Rangers series because I think no, we'll lose. We, well, we got to get through these series first to, before we start talking yeah, about Boston podcast. We so we're get getting it. ahead of ourselves. We can get hooked up. By with the Boston time this airs, it could be a two-two uh, going back to the Garden, <laughs> and it could be on the other end. You know, three-two. It's not. I have full confidence in both the Rangers and the Knicks are in this series. Now, in the next series, uh, I I think the Rangers are the best team. I I, okay. I really do. I think this is a Stanley Cup team. It it reminds me of '94 team. You got Panarin making great plays. They're scoring overtime winners. Their their power play and their penalty kill are top notch. This I mean the, the fact that they've given up one power play goal in four games to to I, to Carolina, who had the best power play in the NHL. Just that the says only, everything. The only thing I could see giving the Rangers a hard time is themselves and going out and have it making more stupid penalties because I I don't know. At, at, what, how what's a normal amount? Like I'm not even gonna get into that. But from what I've seen, because I have watched every minute of this series, is that they like to be that aggressive team to beat up on people a little bit more. But if 
if you take a dumb, unnecessary penalty in the playoffs, it may come back to really bite you. Yes. And, and not that that last one was that. That was someone trying to make a play, not trying to, you know, I think it's more of a personal issues are going on between teams, and all of a sudden as the series go on, you're talking about, you know, being a little too aggressive in a moment where it doesn't have any influence outside of putting someone in the box. Now, the thing with the, the Rangers, the most concerning thing with the Rangers is going to be, now, they had Rempe playing, right? Rempe was playing. He's the enforcer. He's the yeah. fighter. He, But he he wasn't doing anything. He played four minutes in that double overtime game. Yeah. He basically goes out there, takes stupid penalties. Right. They took a run at Shesterkin multiple times. Yeah. You saw the play where they flipped him behind the net. Yeah, yeah. And that's where you would send your enforcer out to shake things up. Yeah. Not to take... Now, Rempe goes out there, he takes stupid penalties. He just basically... Oh, yeah. He's a fighter. No, he likes to get... He feels like he didn't do his job. But... But he gets a little too good. He hasn't learned how to be an enforcer yet. So what they did was they pulled him out, right? They put in Philip Cheadle. Philip Heedle. And Philip Heedle, what he did now, he came back. He's been out for, oh, God, about four months with concussions, multiple concussions. He got went back on the practice. He practiced with the team about a month ago. He left the practice. They call it illness. He played in game three. Played, played well. Played a bunch of minutes. Played well. Yesterday, he didn't come out for the skate, the morning skate. Then he didn't play. They said illness. Yeah, I th- you can't be playing him that. Now you're looking at this could be a possible like he he has serious you know CTE type of stuff. Yeah. The question is, is now he's a big player on this team. Is he going to play? Should he play anymore? I I don't think he really should. I I, I feel bad for him, guys, but I think no. it might be over for him. I I, I wouldn't. Uh... They won't say concussion or anything. They said no, illness. which is rough. I, I, they, someone needs to take control of that type of stuff, whether it be in the NHL or in any sport. Just kind of like the way that the NFL has. Um, you can't just pretend and hide from stuff. Uh, certain things just... An illness could be sick throwing up from a concussion, right? That's exactly what... Yeah, of course. The guy's going around. He's probably not in his own head, but they're used to that stuff. You know, they're... You know, they... It's a different animal. I understand they love to, to play through anything, but that's the type of thing where multiples on top of each other cause such long-term issues... It's actually very scary. Yeah, um, yeah. You end up yeah, with glass of orange juice like, in the no, looking no, out the people, window. No, to change someone's personality can physically be changed by repeat concussions before the first one is totally. Yeah, healed. but some people that's good for right. Some people are just jerks that get a yeah, good personality. No, yeah, no, the, definitely. <laughs> but I mean, come on, with no, a hockey I, guy, right, you only right. got three teeth left, and now you can't fucking eat your own soup. <laughs> <laughs> And you 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 you're just in a rocking chair and looking yeah, out the let's window. Give the guy a shot. Yeah, give him a, give him a shot because he's only in his twenties. We're running out of uh, got options to broadcast hockey games <laughs> in the future. So I listen. I'm not worried at all about the Rangers. I think it just was. It was the Carolina won a game. We didn't think it was going to sweep. Right? They weren't going to sweep this series. That wasn't going to happen. The Knicks, the 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 Knicks and the Rangers. I'm not worried about either one of them, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm not. It's not a big deal. Like the Knicks, I think will win today. The Rangers, I think will win tomorrow. They are the better team. We so we sat here, but remember we tried to figure out why is Carolina favorite. Do you know? Do you know why? I the only reason I'm worried a little bit about the Knicks is. I feel like the Knicks could lose by 25 today. I could see and that. And I don't think they could win by 25. No, done. today they can't. No, they can't. Because they're, they're Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's my only concern when it comes to it is I can see them getting to a spot where they can't come back from. You know, which they've come back in all these games and they've proven they almost have had to in almost every win they've had. It hasn't been like where they were up by five and they've held on to that lead. It was typically like we were down 10 at some point. Um, well, we made a good games. run, right? So I just, um, I, I think my concern is them getting blown out of the gym and not losing in a tight. But one. I think the fact that they didn't get blown out of the gym last yeah. last game, right. it gives them confidence. No, and, definitely. And, listen, Indiana played; they they shouldn't even have won that game, and yeah. they should have blown the Knicks out. Especially when you have a nine or ten point lead in the oh, third quarter. That's be, it. Run away with it, hundred percent. And they that couldn't ha- do that time. It should have been a total mess, and the Knicks hung in there. Um, so no, no, I, I I'm looking forward to it. 